Ever heard of a car that doesn't need gas or plugging in? And get this, it's made in Africa. You won't believe how this wild ride works using imagination, clever design, and cheap materials to zip around town on zero fuel. In this video, we dive into the genius behind this groundbreaking vehicle, find out who built it, and discover how it could change everything we know about cars. Buckle up. This is the future you can't miss. Number 10, compressed air cars. A car powered by nothing but air. The MDI AirPod, developed in France, can travel up to 80 miles on a single tank of compressed air, which takes just three minutes to refill. It's only a mission. Clean air, literally just air. With top speeds around 50 miles per hour, it's practical for city driving while being mechanically much simpler than gas or electric vehicles. Compressed air technology solves several electric vehicle problems. No heavy battery to dispose of, no rare minerals to mine, and refilling takes minutes instead of hours. The challenge remains building compressed air stations, which is why we currently see these vehicles mostly in controlled environments, like airports and industrial facilities. Tata Motors in India has invested heavily in this technology, recognizing its potential for affordable zero emission transportation in pollution-plagued cities. Number nine, Velomobiles. If you've spotted what looks like a small rocket on three wheels zooming along a bike path, you've likely seen a Velomobile. These enclosed recumbent tricycles might be the most efficient way for humans to travel on flat ground. Their teardrop shape cuts through air so smoothly that riders maintain speeds of 20 to 30 miles per hour, using the same effort needed to ride a normal bike at 15 miles per hour. Get out. The Quest Velomobile features a carbon fiber shell weighing just 65 pounds while protecting riders from rain, wind, and minor collisions. Inside, you recline in a comfortable seat with feet forward on pedals. More like driving a sports car than riding a bike. Commuters who switch to Velomobiles arrive at work dry and comfortable wearing normal clothes instead of cycling gear while covering distances impractical on regular bikes. One German commuter documented his 45-mile daily round trip, completed year-round in the same time as driving during rush hour, while getting exercise and using zero fuel. Number eight, hand cars. Before automobiles dominated transportation, small hand cars moved railway workers along tracks for maintenance. These simple vehicles, powered by humans pumping a seesaw lever, are experiencing a renaissance on abandoned railway lines converted to recreational trails. Companies like Rail Explorers now offer guided tours on modern hand cars seating two or four people comfortably. The efficiency of steel wheels on steel rails means modest human power can move substantial weight at 6 to 10 miles per hour for sustained periods. Nearly maintenance-free with no fuel systems or batteries, just occasional lubrication, hand cars remain valuable in some remote communities where maintaining motorized vehicles proves difficult. In northern Thailand, modified hand cars provide transportation along old logging railways, connecting villages with limited road access during rainy seasons there's something magical about moving through landscapes powered only by muscle, hearing birds and wind instead of engine noise. Number seven, soapbox racers. From humble beginnings as kids racing wooden crates with wheels, gravity racing has evolved into a sophisticated sport. Modern gravity racers feature aerodynamic shells, precision bearings, and composite materials that would impress Formula One engineers. Events like the Red Bull Soapbox Race showcase creative designs from giant bananas to mini submarines on wheels. 
but serious racing machines can exceed 70 miles per hour downhill, the world record stands at an astonishing 101.9 miles per hour. The physics behind gravity racing influences mainstream transportation engineering. Some hilly cities have entrepreneurs developing gravity scooters that capture energy during descents through regenerative braking, storing it in small batteries for uphill sections. This creates transportation running primarily on gravity with minimal additional energy, proving sometimes the simplest solution is just letting gravity do the work. Number six, land yachts Apply sailing principles to a wheeled vehicle and you get a land yacht, one of the most exhilarating fuel-free ways to travel. These three-wheeled vehicles use wind harnessing techniques that moved ships for centuries, but roll across beaches or dry lake beds on specialized wheels. Because wheels create less resistance than water, land yachts can actually travel faster than the wind itself through clever sail designs that work like airplane wings reaching speeds over 100 miles per hour in ideal conditions. The sport encompasses multiple competition classes from single-person mini yachts to larger craft carrying multiple people. Annual competitions at locations like Nevada's Black Rock Desert draw hundreds of enthusiasts worldwide. Beyond recreation, Dutch companies have developed cargo land yachts, moving shipping containers between port facilities and nearby distribution centers using only wind power, saving thousands of gallons of diesel annually. Number five, kite buggies. While land yachts use fixed sails, kite buggies replace them with controllable traction kites flying 100 plus feet overhead. This captures stronger, steadier winds at higher altitudes, generating impressive pulling power for lightweight three-wheeled buggies below. The sensation is described as a cross between sailing and flying, with skilled riders performing jumps and tricks before landing to continue their journey. Expert kite buggy pilots take multi-day trips along beaches or across plains, traveling hundreds of miles using nothing but wind. The technology scales impressively. Kite ships are now being tested for commercial ocean freight, with massive computer-controlled kites reducing fuel consumption by up to 30% on cargo vessels. On land, experimental kite-powered vehicles have been developed carrying several passengers, suggesting potential applications beyond recreation. It's one of humanity's oldest energy sources reimagined for modern transportation in ways both practical and thrilling. Number four, Stella Lux. The Stella Lux, created by students at the Eindhoven University of Technology, shatters preconceptions about solar vehicles. This remarkable four-seater can run indefinitely on sunlight in favorable conditions while achieving highway speeds. Its lightweight carbon fiber body and incredible aerodynamics require minimal energy, while rooftop solar panels generate up to 1.5 kilowatts in full sun, often producing more electricity than needed. The car has a top speed of 125 kilometers per hour. The vehicle is also equipped with a 60 kilogram storage battery that can supply power on rainy days and at night. Inside, passengers enjoy comfortable seating, climate control, and navigation systems that plan routes based on weather forecasts to maximize solar gain. The car won the World Solar Challenge Cruiser Class, proving solar vehicles can serve as practical family transportation rather than just engineering experiments. While Stella itself was a prototype, its technology and design principles are influencing a new generation of commercial solar-assisted vehicles. Number three, Aptera. The Aptera brings solar vehicle technology to the commercial market with its distinctive airplane meets teardrop design. This three-wheeler promises up to 40 miles of solar-powered driving daily without plugging in, enough for many commuters to never need charging. 
So one of the things you'll also notice is different about this vehicle versus the vehicle that we saw in the parking lot back there was that this has got a full steering wheel. Uh, the other one uses a yoke style steering wheel, which uses a very high steering ratio. So you don't have to do a full 360 turn to get the full steering lock. Its unusual appearance serves function. The three wheel configuration reduces rolling resistance while the teardrop shape achieves a drag coefficient of just 0.13 the lowest of any production vehicle. This extreme efficiency makes its modest solar array genuinely practical. After a failed earlier attempt, the company relaunched with improved technology and secured thousands of pre-orders. The latest version includes options for additional battery capacity, providing up to 1,000 miles of range when fully charged, addressing range anxiety with both solar capability and exceptional efficiency. Number two pedal cars. Remember those little toy pedal cars from childhood? They've grown up in a major way. Modern adult pedal cars combine the stability of four wheels with human power to create practical transportation for short trips. The ELF by Organic Transit looks like a tiny car but works like a bicycle, with pedals driving the rear wheels and a small solar panel on top, charging a battery for when your legs need a break. It's actually a backwards tricycle fueled by bike pedals and a tiny solar-powered motor that can carry passengers and cargo up to 550 pounds. With speeds around 20 miles per hour and storage space for groceries, these vehicles work perfectly for urban commuting. Most qualify as bicycles under the law, meaning no license, registration, or insurance needed. One Portland commuter documented losing 30 pounds in three months of pedal car use, turning transportation into fitness. For people tired of car payments and parking hassles, these human-powered vehicles offer a simpler way to get around while saving money and waistlines. Number one, Lightyear One. While Aptera embraces radical design, the Lightyear One proves solar integration works with familiar vehicle shapes. This sleek sedan incorporates solar cells into its hood, roof, and parts of the doors without sacrificing appearance or comfort. By reducing energy consumption to roughly a third of conventional electric vehicles, the solar contribution becomes significant, adding up to 45 miles of range daily in sunny conditions. Lightyear represents solar vehicles transitioning from university projects to mainstream products. The company has secured major investments and partnered with automotive supplier Valmet for manufacturing. Though initially targeting luxury buyers, more affordable models are planned as production scales. Their approach suggests solar integration might become standard on electric vehicles, providing free miles from the sun while reducing charging infrastructure demands. The future of transportation isn't just about replacing gas with batteries, it's reimagining how we harness energy for movement. These 10 vehicle types prove human ingenuity can find countless ways to get from point A to point B without conventional fuels. Whether powered by sunshine, wind, gravity, or our own muscles, they offer cleaner, often cheaper, and frequently more enjoyable ways to travel. Next time you're stuck in traffic or at a gas station, remember there are alternatives. And they're more practical than you might think.